Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to the Voice Love Company. My name is Christy Bovey. I'm a mindset coach and voice intuitive. I have been working with the human voice and the human heart since 1990. I help people find their voice and make their sound in the world, no matter who they are, no matter what they do. This has been a really crazy morning. Um, thank you for your patience. We are starting just a little bit late here. And uh, I really appreciate you hanging out in the chat. It's been fun watching you guys talk to each other. You have reached, if you're watching this on replay, you have reached a live reaction to Gabriel Enrique's cover of Minnie Ripperton's Lovin' You. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second. Gabriel is Brazilian and he's got an incredible voice so i'm really looking forward to hearing him sing this 1975 hit okay that's what we're doing <laughs> trying to get my heart rate to come down as i'm like running around trying to figure out what is happening with the tech here i'm going to say hi to a couple of people this morning let me go back up gregory kenfield was here first if that matters at all um he gregory says this will be a double blind reaction for me since i'm unfamiliar with both um <clears throat> gabriel and minnie ripperton well, that's going to be awesome then all right and frank ramakers is here from the netherlands dopey12001 is here also from the netherlands john sullivan from maryland uh knows minnie ripperton and the classic song with the notes only dogs can hear. Do not know much about Gabriel. Yes, I have watched him on my channel before. I've listened to a couple of things he's done and um, he's a really interesting voice. So I've got the Minnie Ripperton version pulled up here on my phone just for the key. We're gonna see if it's the same key. If it is, that is going to be quite remarkable because she sings really high. Um, yes, here we go. So. Uh, Frank Ramakers, hello. I d yes, I think I did say hi to you. New artist for me too, Frank says. Gregory's asking if Minnie had any other hits. Yeah, don't actually know the answer to that. Uh, really very interesting voice. Uh, Vimana is here from Finland. Good to see you, Vimana. Wendy Scoff is here from the Netherlands. Hello. Yeah, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Victor Bradshaw, hi there. Good to see you. Very good to see you today. Julie Lamb is here. Hi, friend. Andrea or Andrea from Puerto Rico is here. Florasaurus is here. Hi there. Very good. Um, Vimana says, I've liked every song performed by Minnie Ripperton that I've heard. I haven't heard Gabriel Enrique yet. Looking forward to hearing how he'll sing this one. Indeed. Hi, Annie NYC. Great to see you today. It's been a little while. One thing that you'll understand if you are watching on the replay, which by the way, I will put the timestamp for when we actually start the live, I'm sorry, yes, the reaction. The timestamp for that will be in the description box below. Uh, but you'll notice that we're a community here. We talk, we try to get together once a week here and so it's fun no matter what is who we're listening to i'm sorry my lighting is strange that is one of the reasons why we were a little bit late this morning it, i'm not i'm dialing it in it's very rainy here today so that always makes it a little challenging um but we're a, we're a community and so we we enjoy talking it's a lot of fun um john sullivan says there's a descending phrase at the end of each chorus we can hear the F sharp six, but it's possible the dogs hear a G or G sharp before it. Yes, it's up there. It is up there. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Oopsies. I'm trying to get this. I am really struggling this morning. All right. Yes. Um, John, F sharp six. I actually was reading about Minnie Ripperton. Um, yes. The four octaves. So it's D3 to F sharp seven, actually. And, uh, and she's an American soul singer, best known for her 1975 single, Lovin' You, and her four octave coloratura soprano range. She's also uh, widely known for use of her whistle register and has been referred to by the media as the queen of the whistle register. So yeah. She died at 31. 
so it's possible she didn't have very many hits because she didn't live very long. Um, I didn't read too much about her, and now I want to, so I'm not going to do this on camera. Oh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer in January of 1976. Um, by the time she was diagnosed, it had metastasized, and she was given six months to live. Uh, despite the prognosis, she continued a recording and touring, and she was one of the first celebrities to ever go public with a breast cancer diagnosis, but did not disclose she was terminally ill. Wow, oh my goodness, she died on July 12th, 1979, at the age of 31. Whoa, that is incredible. She had a coloratura soprano vocal range, and aside from her various hits, which she must have had more than one, she's best remembered for her ability to sing in high head voice, occasionally the whistle register. Um, yeah, okay, good. So we're going to get into this. We are going to start this because I'm anxious to hear what this young man is going to do with this song. He is known for, and I think I've, I've listened to him sing Whitney Houston's I Have Nothing. Um, yes, Annie reminds her of the sad story of Ava Cassidy. And indeed, gone too soon. Gone too soon. Uh, Vamana says, uh, I really like Le Fleur. It is also a well-known song by Minnie Riperton. Inside, every man lives the seed of a flower. If he looks within, he finds beauty and power. I wish more lyrics were like that, Vamana says. I love that. UIM is here. Hello. Good to see you. Very good to see you. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get, let me get into this here. Oh my goodness. I am just a little bit behind <laughs> what is going on here. Oh, uh, okay. Looking for... Here we go. Ooh, I'm finding it. I'm so happy. There we go. Good. Okay, wait a minute. Let me switch this around. And I also want to grab the original, which I just assumed everybody knew this song. So I wish I had actually, uh, we could do a side by side, or a, you know, comparison, compare and contrast. Okay, it is a different key. Okay, this, I'm, I'm having another week where I'm wishing I had my keyboard right here. It's a little bit higher. Okay, we got to stop. What? <laughs> Gabriel is also a whistle register singer, obviously. Um, yeah, this kid. Oh, my gosh. Look how cute he is. He's adorable. <laughs> Indy Gregory says, uh, talk about a face not uh, matching a voice. Right? Oh, man. Yes, I think you guys do know the song. It's pretty famous, and you just probably didn't realize who it, who it was. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, John Sullivan says, Minnie's daughter is a comedian from SNL. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's lovely. She was able to have some kiddos before that terrible thing happened to her. Oh, I feel so sad. Let's see, personal life. 
Yeah, they had two children. Oh, yeah, Maya Rudolph is her daughter. Oh, my gosh. Maya Rudolph, Saturday Night Live cast member from 2000 to 2007. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Near the end of the unedited Love and You, Ripperton sings Maya, Maya, Maya. So, oh. So she grew up without a mama, basically. She was only four years old. Oh, wow. That is really fascinating. I want to do some more research about that now. She is wonderful. I love her. Thanks for telling us that, John Sullivan. That's amazing. Oh, that's great. Let's see. Hi, Jerry. Jerry Cornelis Cornelison. I think I've been saying your name wrong all this time. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you. Paul Jurinks is here as well. Hi there. <clears throat> Not too sure about the choice of pastel sportswear. Yes. He's Brazilian, so, you know, it's a football thing, probably. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Uh, people saying, I've listened. I've heard this song before. Never heard this guy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I want to get back in and listen to this. Let's see where we're going here. This is a short one today. But I just couldn't resist. I saw it come up. <clears throat> he literally just put this out on his channel. And I was like, ooh, I love this song. And this song has always been, just as a, a soprano myself, it's always been one that it's like, I just want to try and master. It would be, it, it's, it's a fun song to try and sing, actually. <laughs> Mama Wells can make me feel the colors that you bring. I'm stopping right there before the la la's. So one thing that I always think when I see him sing, he'll use this this microphone a lot, which I think it's a it's a sure mic. Um, I ha I own one actually, and I personally think it it doesn't sound good. <laughs> it looks really cool, but I don't love the sound of it. Maybe some of you who are audio engineer people can can enlighten us <laughs> on what it is but my question always is when I see him doing these videos singing on that particular microphone I don't feel like I feel like he's maybe lip syncing and we're hearing the studio version of what he's done it's just so clean sounding and I just personally don't think that that microphone could get that sound discuss I've made uh, Gabriel Enrique fans angry. I've yeah. When I've said these things before, it's not that I'm saying he's not actually singing, right? Some sometimes fan groups think I'm saying he's not actually singing these notes. He's totally. This sound is coming out of this man's body. Okay, <laughs> I have no um, question of that. I'm just wondering if he goes back in and just does a little rendering of a lip sync version, you know. Uh, just I, I don't know I mean it's it's not like it's a simple thing it's a simple video it's not like he's doing anything grand so discuss what do you guys think do you think he's actually singing in real time uh, is that what we're we're getting here um, yeah hit the like bucket like like bucket like button everyone Annie NYC is saying yeah very good um, and Annie also is saying he's doing something in his throat, in his mixed voice, a pressure thing. Yeah, he's got a really cool sound. He reminds me of like, um, it'd be cool to hear him sing some Stevie Wonder. I wonder if he's done that because he just has that, um, that really electrified tenor sound. It's really lovely. Okay, oh, first E is pronounced like play. Second E like sun. Oh my goodness. 
Cornelison. Cornelison. Ah, very good. Very good. Thank you for helping me with the phonetics of that. Um, Christy, FYI, to stream a song live without pre recording, you have to put the video quality to 360. Okay. Oh, I'll look, I'll look at that. I will definitely look at that. Um, Gregory says, how taxing is whistle tone singing? My voice is more like an earthquake than a whistle, so I have no idea. Um, it can be very uh, easy. You just kind of flip up there, and it's coming. Uh, it's so, so difficult to describe it. Um, and it's not something that I personally have mastered myself. So um, I'm just telling you from my own the physical sensations but it just it feels like it's just coming from out the top of your head basically definitely a little more forward probably but yeah it is you're flipping up and it, it's not putting any um pressure i don't feel any pressure in the larynx yeah um let's see ah wandik or vandik gabrielle enrique is participating in america's got talent season 18 oh my gosh that's fantastic Oh, I'll have to look into that. Very good. Okay, John is telling, John is our audio engineer. This is a lip sync. Thank you, John. I agree. And that's not a big deal, right? It's no no big deal at all. Uh, Paul Jurinks. Looks like he just walked into someone's living room. One homeowner, homeowner turns to his wife and says, that Gabriel Enrique has gotten in again. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Uh, Victor Bradshaw, most ribbon microphones work well depending on the board you use. I'm, is that a ribbon mic? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure because to me, the one that I have anyway, and that may not be the same one, it's like a sure microphone inside a case that makes it look cool. <laughs> In my very low tech way of talking about those things. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Yes. Several audio folks here. Very good. That's helpful. Okay. Let's get into the la la's. Here we go. It's just right here. I gotta get I gotta listen to that again that just shows his voice off so well he, he he's just he's a great singer his whole register everything he does is just so incorporated like he's able to just go wherever he wants and it's so amazing to hear okay I probably went back too far but let's because that's a bring. stay with me He's just showing off. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, 
Oh my gosh. Get out of here. <laughs> we gotta go listen to the ending again. That was silly. What in the world? Okay, we'll start right about here. He's he truly makes a song his own. This is what he does with all of these covers. Like you he takes these sacred songs like the Whitney Houston, the Mariah Carey, the things that it's like you don't just sing those, right? You know, because everybody's like going to compare you. But he takes it to the next level. And he's very understated in his performances as well. Um, so I'm interested to see how he does on America's Got Talent. That is fascinating that he's on that show. Wow, very cool. Yes, Gregory says his pitch control is stellar. It's, it is. It's incredible. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Annie says, good pitch control. I'm still trying to feel what he's doing with his back soft palate when he presses into his mixed voice. High and up, but also tense, it feels, as if to vibrate against. Wow, incredible. Um, Victor says, uh, after having to retrain singers to get their vocals back after surgery, I'm swamped. <laughs> oh, you guys are talking about retirement and how you're more busy. John says, my church audio team thinks I know everything or little, depending on the day. Isn't that the case for audio engineers, though? You guys have the, it's not a, not a fun role. <laughs> if things are going well, no one says anything. If things are going bad, you guys are going to hear about it for sure. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Let's, uh, let's listen to this ending again here. And I'm interested. Now I want to go see what he's doing on America's Got Talent. That's going to be fun. Wow, he just has such tasty licks too, right? Like he just has his uh, his his ability to improvise is just really nice, very very um, appropriate. Like you, he's totally showing off, <laughs> but I feel like he deserves to do that, right? He really does. Incredible, that was so great. Mm. Yeah, that whistle voice Annie's saying, right? Incredible absolutely amazing um this young man look how cute he is he's adorable i hope he does so well on america's got talent that is going to be so much fun that is all i have for today and i feel like now i just want to like go down the rabbit hole of reading more about maya rudolph who now we know is minnie ripperton's daughter Wow, that is incredible. Um, I also want to go and try and find Gabrielle on America's Got Talent. I just wish him all the best. That is going to be amazing. Um, let's see. Yeah, Gregory says, sounds to my ears like he trades range for output. The higher he goes, the quieter he is. Yeah. And I think, I yeah, I think that it's... Uh, it is something to watch you know i was just working with a vocalist yesterday um you do lose vocal control pitch control when you sing too loud so it is a matter of finding the right breath pressure um, to make sure that you're not blowing it out right you're you're uh you're using just the right amount you back off on your volume just a little bit and that does give you more vocal control so it is something to think about that's a really good really good point gregory um and annie could maybe speak to the mechanics of that wow um let's see i'm trying to see what the conversation's doing here I'm trying to imitate without the right training or yeah you guys are talking about vocal stuff <laughs> which is great um that's fantastic okay good so i am so grateful that we had this opportunity today to remember minnie ripperton first of all um coming up on the anniversary of of her death i think it said july 12th 1975 and 
um, wow, so sad, so sad um, that the song, the singer was gone too soon. But how much fun to see that you've got these young ones coming up, remembering the incredible vocalist that she was, and then taking a turn with it and even going further with it. I love, I think that's what I love about what Gabrielle is doing. And uh, I just hope that you guys have such a fantastic week this week. Thanks so much for meeting me here as always. And um, I just appreciate you. I so appreciate you and the time that you that you spend with me. Your time is one of the most precious things you have. And the fact that you take a few moments of it to spend with me, just it just makes my heart melt. I love you to bitty bits. And I hope that you will keep finding your voice, keep making your sound in the world today and every day in whatever realm, whatever sphere you um, you walk in and you remember how very much you are loved. Bye guys. Love you dearly. See you next time. Bye bye.